Next up for multifamily is none other than Ross McAllister. He is principal in MC Companies, a real estate investment firm that specializes in multifamily properties. The company owns and manages approximately 7,000 apartment units in Arizona, Texas, and Oklahoma, including 1,200 units right here in our backyard. Ross has been in the apartment investment business since 1985 and has developed approximately 5,000 units here in Tucson at that time. Ross McAllister. Thanks, Jim. Many of you know I've been married a really long time, and as, as most of you, I'm sure, have, you know, none, that marriage isn't always really smooth. So we've been in marriage counseling more than once, and last time we went, my wife, the marriage counselor asked my wife, she says, what's the issue? And she said, well, it's hard to say. He said, well, you have sex problems. And she said, well, kind of. And he said, well, what's the, what's the problem? Is it, is it weird, or is it physical, or what? No, it's none of that. She said, you see, my husband's a real estate developer, so all he does is sit on the side of the bed and tell me how great it's going to be. <laughs> so that's my job today. So 2013 was kind of an interesting year. Um, just to kind of quick review it. Demand for apartments is all about jobs. And we had a whopping 5,300 jobs last year as opposed to Phoenix is 43,000. 5,300 jobs, gain of one and a half percent. Most of those jobs are in leisure and hospitality, which is low to moderate income jobs, which would bode well for renters, correct? Positive absorption last year of about 1,100 units. That's very strong uh, in pre as of compared to previous years. Uh, by the way, before I go into this, I stole every bit of this information from Art Wadland, Alan Mendelberg, and CBRE, so any mistakes is you just blame it on them. <laughs> Market vacancy declined to 7.9%. Now, that information is probably, is probably somewhere between that and 10, depending on who you read. I decided, being a real estate developer, to go with a low number. So, but the rent, rent increased a whopping 0.5%, which is not one, not two, but three bucks a month. This is in um, what every publication or every real estate uh, uh, publication will tell you is the strongest apartment market and it's a complete sea change and it's a landlord's market and we're competing, we're going to a renter's nation and all of that stuff, which is all bullshit. So at least as it relates to Tucson and the Southwest markets. I think. So our portfolio increased about 5.5% in Arizona in terms of absolute rents, but our income went up 8.1%. And that's because we were able to start cutting concessions and increased occupancy, and also because we had two strong lease ups as well. Tucson ranks 49th out of 50 metro areas. We, we rate ahead of Tulsa in terms of absolute number of rents. So this is really a cheap and affordable place to live. And the differential, I believe, depending on what you read, I put 400 bucks a month using the, uh, I think, average house price, somewhere between, say, 250 and $400. Now that compares to markets like San Francisco, it's $2,600 between rent and owning. And uh, even markets like, like Dallas, where it's more like seven, $800 a month. Supply is always an interesting, Tucson's always fun for supply. We added 800 market rate, market rate units in 2012, 270 in 2013, and or sorry, 370 and 780 in 2014. That's about a 1% average increase in inventory over the last three years. Um, all of those deals have done very well, including ours. We've rented in excess of 20 units a month, which I is which I believe is outstanding in anybody's book. And rents are averaging $900 to $1,000, um, which is about a buck a foot. Um, we did about a buck a foot on our deals in terms of absolute rent, which is $900 to $1,000. Uh, Bert's deal, uh, HSL's deal on River got about a buck eight. Asking rents in the new properties that are not yet open, but coming online up on um, North Oracle, 
are about a buck seventeen to a buck twenty. So we're starting to push towards owner. You know, the cost of renting is about the same as the cost of ownership. Um, one is one, one interesting anecdotal thing, and when I looked at our portfolio and where our lease ups came from, they did not come from other apartment complexes. We thought for sure we were going to start seeing people coming out of older properties and moving into new properties, but most of our new residents are new to Tucson. That's because I think they see $900 to $1,000 in value in, a park, in an apartment as opposed to the people that are already here who say, oh, I'm not paying that. I'm happy at 700 or 750. 2014, everybody expects another 800 units primarily in Northwest. Um, about 750 units permitted over the next two years. I think all of that's real manageable. Uh, 6,700 new jobs uh, should be able to help continue to push down vacancy. I've got 7.4%, 7 call it you know, seven to nine. Um, and, and rent rate growth is going to be, I think, continue to be rather anemic. Another 1%, which is you know, six bucks a month maybe. Um, Hard to make six dollars, three to six dollars a month rent increases pay for increased expenses and uh, especially in property taxes. Um, I don't know the the variables in this market. I think are what really happens when all the new student housing deals are developed. I think there's approximately what is it, two thousand beds that are coming online for student properties. I really don't know how that's going to affect any of us, all of us, um, over the next year, year and a half. But obviously, it's already affecting a lot of the older properties that are already seeing occupancy problems. Not to not mention the duplexes and the fourplexes and all those people out there. Uh, we had about 180 million dollars in sales last year. Uh, we attempted to sell a property. We heard many people. You know, the brokers said, you know, you'll get a lot of hangover from Phoenix because people can't find product up there. So we were able to, but so we showed it 15 times, couldn't get the price, took it off the market. So Tucson is a stepsister in terms of uh, in institutional investment interest to Phoenix at this point, and I don't know if that's going to change, but there isn't a lot of product on the market either. So, um, and that's it. Thanks very much.